Mr Speaker, the British public voted to leave the EU. They voted to take back control of our borders and end free movement. And last year, the British people voted to get Brexit done and introduce a points-based immigration system. Mr Speaker, we are doing exactly that. Um, but despite the best efforts of the party opposite, we are ending free movement and we are introducing a points-based system. And today we have published more details of that system, which will enable us to attract the brightest and the best, a firmer and fairer system that will take back control of our borders, crack down on foreign criminals and unleash our country's true poten potential, building a brighter future for Britain and signalling to the world that we are open for business. Mr Speaker, we all want more people training and entering the care centre sector at a decent wage. Of course we do. But the reality is there are over 100,000 vacancies in England alone today. Now, some of us in the House, Mr Speaker, don't need reminding of how important and skilled jobs of care workers are. But that doesn't always seem to be the case for members opposite. So I'd like to extend an invitation to the Home Secretary. I will convene a meeting of a delegation of care workers to help provide a better understanding of the incredible jobs they do alongside their trade union representatives. Would the Home Secretary care to join me? I'm sure the Right Honourable Lady would find meeting frontline care workers incredibly useful when sitting there deciding how skilled people's jobs are. Many people in Torfine and Halifax listening to the Honourable Gentleman will wonder whether he's been following the news recently about, sadly, the impacts economically of COVID-19 and the number of our own UK-based workers who we will need to get back into employment. So it's hard to believe that there are many will believe, then believe there's a labour shortage. But we are engaging regularly with the care sector. We're listening to what they say. But our priority is that in future these jobs be valued, rewarded and trained for, not immigration be an alternative to that.